I'm going to be lighting the coal. Did you hear that, people? Yeah. Is the camera on? Yeah, it's on. Yay, they can hear me. From the noisiest neighborhood the known universe, welcome to Smoky Goodness. Welcome to a very quick and very easy recipe we have for you today. We've done this before and we're doing it again. Uh, two reasons I'm doing it again. One is because the first time we did this, we did this inside the house on a griddle for Christmas one year. Second reason is that uh, we're between rain events. I don't want to call them storms, but it's just a little rain coming down. And, about every two or three hours, so we've got to do this quickly. What are we doing? We're doing uh, fried rice. And I'm going to spare you the tour and all that right now, and we're not going to go into the Wayback Machine. We cooked the rice last night. Who doesn't know how to cook rice, right? Fried rice is a very personal, a matter of very personal preference. I have mine, you have yours. What else is going on? My son, they can't see you. This little guy right here is currently in pitmaster training, right? Uh, the first first three lessons we gave him were safety first, safety second, safety third, and today he has graduated up to lighting the coals. So we're going to do that right now, and we'll get on with everything. Stick around, Herb. Stick around, Herb. Stick around, Herb. There you go. You did it. Yes! It's time to dump the coals, everybody. Using a couple of these baskets. We'll see why in a moment. Gonna do a little bit of a fire dance out here once again. Okay, like I mentioned, two baskets. I'm gonna keep one right under the wok. Should be right about there. The other one I've got off to the side. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I want a lot of heat, but I don't want all the heat right under the wok. There, perfect. Into the grill goes the Weber wok. And we're gonna let this heat up for about, uh, I don't know, about 10 or 15 minutes. We're gonna get it good and hot. Okay, we've got some mixed veggies we're going to toss in. Okay. All right, pre-cooked rice. I'm going to get rid of some of these clumps. I say this goes fast. All right, we're gonna add some sauce first. We've got some uh, sesame ginger. Oh yeah. Soy sauce. We have some teriyaki ginger. Mm. Got some shallots. We've got some spring onions, green onions in America, and some garlic. We're all cookers. If I didn't like the cold, if I didn't do anything, I would be a cooker. All right, here I'm making a well. I'm going to throw some uh, coconut oil into that well. Just a few for the egg. Holy cow! Look at that egg. Yeah. And we're going to let that set up for just a minute or two. I know where you're going with that. All right. Moisture anyway. All right, the seafood goes back in. This is almost done. Okay. We just need to get the Yep. This way we ensure that the uh, seafood will cook the remainder of the way. Now. Yeah. 
just sprinkle some on. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's about how many I wanted. But <laughs> Good job, huh? <laughs> we'll put the lid on just for a few minutes to ensure that everything cooks all the way through. All right, here we go. So looking a little bit dry. I'm gonna add a couple of more drops of, there you go. Yeah, a little pit master guy. Wow. do we have out here? Looks like uh, chicken legs, yeah. bacon wrap shrimp, a uh, salad, a lot of dressings. Jeez, I almost forgot this. Pickled ginger. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. All right. Shut up, plane! <laughs>